Ismatullah Azami. He's an analyst at the Centre for Conflict and Peace Studies in Kabul. Thank you very much for coming on the programme. Why on earth uh, is the Afghan government doing business now with someone known as the Butcher of Kabul? Thank you for having me. Um, you know, whenever we are discussing Hikmatyar coming to Kabul in the Afghan government, agreeing uh, to sign a peace deal with him, uh, the, major, the, the main argument that I make is that Kabul needed um, Hikmatyar and to use him for his propaganda and encourage Afghan Taliban to follow, his, uh, to follow him. You know, he's still considered as a religious figure by many in Afghanistan. So him signing a peace deal and stop, fight, uh, stop fighting uh, uh, while the U.S. is present in Afghanistan may encourage some of the Taliban to, f to do the same. You know, this is one of the preconditions of his, his Islami Kulbuddin Hikmatyar um, was, and it still is of the Taliban that the U.S. should withdraw, but if he can uh, have a peace deal with, Ka uh, with Kabul, it may encourage um, Afghan Taliban to do the same. Um, in addition, Afghan government is also uh, thinking that uh, to prove to the Taliban that, look, whatever promises we are making to any uh, armed group or political party, we will, uh, we will honor our words. And that's what they want to prove it to the Taliban as well, that, look, uh, we, stu we fulfill our promises with Hikmatyar, so you, you Taliban should not be um, uh, insecure or uh, uncertain about their future post-reconciliation. So it's only to, um, to encourage Taliban, and this is happening. Uh, listening to Hikmatyar's speech today, that's what we could, um, uh, could take on from it. How is this going to go down with the relatives of the many victims of this man? Well, I, um, I mean, there are two uh, narratives here. One is that, okay, um, he, um, he killed so many civilians and he has to be trialed. But then uh, amnesty comes with um, wh while he was striking the deal. So I don't think that is happening. But then there's another uh, group of people uh, that, that believe that all warlords are the same. Uh, it includes those that are currently in the government or served in the government in the in the past 16 years. So they give him, uh, they, 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 they think that he should not be trialed. It was past and past has to be forgotten. Um, and, and I think that's a major problem in Afghanistan that the transnational justice um, is never properly implemented. And uh, warlords such as him, uh, are, uh, we are not short of them in the government. So he's just an addition.